I'm Lois from Connected Clean Rooms and Clean Room Shop and welcome to our Particles Plus tutorial video. This video will run through everything that you receive with your Particles Plus particle counter and I'll show you how to set it up for the first time. The unit is packaged carefully in a secure solid plastic case. Let's just open these two clasps and take a look. Lying on top is your calibration certificate in an envelope. This will show the date of the unit's last calibration and the next calibration date, which will be 12 months from its last calibration. We can see the unit and accessories are nicely packaged, fitting snug in a custom foam insert which profiles around the unit to keep it safe from any knocks during transit. Other components are packed in individual bags. There's a temperature and humidity probe, a zero filter, aka purge filter. This can be attached to make sure you purge your chamber after using it in any particularly unclean or toxic environments. Here's a memory stick. This contains manuals and also has lots of storage so you can download any particle counts to it if you wish. A charger. This is, this is designed to add different adapters for different countries. Clean Room Shop supply the units with the UK version, um, but there are Euro and American versions available. Here's the battery. This makes it a true roaming device. It's packaged separately, allowed for the preservation of its life. Um, the power can run from the mains or it can run from the battery, so you can use it however you wish. Lastly, there's also a lightning cable for a connection to your PC. Then there's the unit itself. It feels very light without the battery, which I'll add in later, but I think you'll agree it's a really nice looking unit. Here you can see it has a stand, which can be used during counts in a turbulently ventilated clean room. In a unidirectional airflow clean room, you would stand it upright as the sensor probe needs to face into the airflow. Let's just attach the temperature and humidity probe. You can see it has a keyway to instruct the correct orientation and it just easily slots in. There's a cover cap for the sensor probe, which is where the sensor sample air is drawn in. You just need to remove the, this to expose the inlet for the air sample. There are four sockets here for the connection to different cables. That's for the power, the lightning cable, a USB port and the network connection. Some units do have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi options so you can connect without cables. We just need to connect the battery up. So the first job is to remove the battery cover with a small crosshead screwdriver. Once the cover is removed, the terminal receiver is exposed and the plug will only fit in one way. The chamfered edges go to the top of the unit. Once you've located it in position, it has to be pushed in all the way. Turn the battery so the wire doesn't kink and lay it inside the unit. Then you can replace the battery cover, click it into place, then screw fixing back into position. There's no need to over tighten it, it's just there to stop it coming away accidentally. And that's it. We're now ready to power the unit up. Press the power button to power up. And away we go. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know how to set the unit up, then just look out for our next video.